We've got to simplify an expression and get it into a format using scientific notation. So the expression is 41.7 times 10 to the negative 7 times 3.91 times 10 to the 11 and that's divided by 22.15 times 10 to the minus 2. So first we've got all these powers of 10 so because they're the same uh, base exponent which means they're all 10 to the power something we can work uh, to simplify them so let's just uh, write down our expression here without the tens 41.7 times 3.91 divided by 22.15 and now let's uh, work with the tens on the rest of the expression so because we have 10 to the minus 7 being multiplied by 10 to the 11 you can add the exponents so negative 7 plus 11 is going to give you uh, 10 to the 4 so we write that and then on the bottom we still have our 10 to the minus 2 now because you've got the um, powers of 10 being divided that's uh, you've got to subtract the exponent so you've got 4 minus a negative 2 so if you subtract a negative number it's the same as adding the positive number so 4 minus a negative 2 is the same as 4 plus 2 so then this part simplifies to become 10 to the 6 so I'll just write that step down so you don't miss it times 3.91 times 10 to the 6 and then we still divide it by 22.15 now if uh, you can use the calculator but you can also figure this one out just by guessing so we've got about 40 multiplied by about 4 which is 160 divided by about 20 so that should give us about 8 so we would have an answer of 8 times 10 to the negative 6 so we'll just plug it into the calculator to make sure we get the exact answer times 3.91 divided by 22.15 and so it's not exactly 8, but the answer is 7.36. So that's 7.36 times 10 to the 6 is the uh, final answer. Now, the key here is to realize what scientific notation means. So it means that you've only got one number here in front of the decimal, and it has to be between 1 and 9. So there are different ways to write this answer that are uh, mathematically the same but they're not in scientific notation so we could write it's equal to 73.6 times 10 to the fifth but because we've got two digits here it's not scientific notation likewise uh, we could write 0 0.736 times 10 to the seventh but because we've got a zero here, this isn't between one and nine, so that's not scientific notation either. So this is the correct scientific notation. So, you know, besides doing the math, you just have to remember that you've got one digit in front of the decimal, and the digit has to be between one and nine. So you've got to adjust the decimal place and uh, adjust the exponent so that you've got the right answer. So basically, you can see here that if you move the decimal to the right, the exponent number gets smaller and if you move the exponent to the left the exponent gets bigger so that's how you move the decimal around so it's it, it will work out to be the exact same though you're just saying it a different way